Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Go ahead and do me a favor. Double tap on that screen if you are just now coming in, man. Good morning, good morning. This is Friday, our motivational hour. Uh, motivational hour with your girl, Street Poet, man. How y'all doing this morning? Go ahead and double tap on that screen for me. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning to all, man. That's right, we on time a little bit before time this morning. How y'all doing this morning? Hit that double tap on that screen as you come into the live video, man. Y'all already know. Know how we do it to Instagram, y'all don't play no games, man. I tell you what, as soon as that live thing click off, boy, I tell you, y'all go to y'all go shot root up right on up to a hundred expeditiously. I love that about y'all, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do me a favor, y'all know on IG, man, the goal is to get 50 badges and downtime on, on the bottom at TikTok. The goal is to get 600k. That's right, go ahead, let's tap in, let's tap in, let's tap in. That's right, we got 50, we need 50 badges on IG, we need 600k down here on TikTok, man. Y'all go ahead and double tap on that screen for me. Go ahead and get us started with those badges, man. If y'all as y'all come into the room, go ahead and bless me up. Definitely got something that we gonna talk about today. Definitely got something we gonna get off our chest today. Today, how y'all doing this morning? How y'all doing this morning? Good morning. Go ahead and let me know, you know what I'm saying, where you're viewing me from so I can shout out some of y'all's areas as well. Good morning. Good morning. She says, I'm glad I'm off today. I know that's right, friend. Friend, like, man, I finally get to catch you. Good morning. Let me know where you're viewing me from so I can shout out some of y'all's areas. Good morning, Ashley. Thank you so much for that heart. I appreciate that love. Boston, I see y'all. Chattanooga, I see you guys. Thank you so much for that badge. There we go. There we go. We see girl. We see Lynn. We see Corey. Good morning, Corey. How y'all doing? Good morning, Lynn. There we go. Tell Appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's right. Go ahead. Send a badge through. Let's go ahead and get us a good start to these live, this live video this morning. Uh, DC, I see y'all. San Diego, I see you. There you go. I am Dej. Appreciate you as well. Chattanooga, I see y'all. Y'all up top and down here. How y'all doing? Good morning, Dessa. How you doing, love? Cleveland, Ohio, Kansas. I see y'all. Atlanta, I see y'all. Philly is in the building. Chicago is here as well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jonesboro, Georgia. I see you. Happy birthday to you and shout out VA. How y'all doing in North Carolina? I see y'all. There we go. Sway J, I see that badge coming through. That's right. Go ahead. Get us a head start so that way when I get to jumping in these notes, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to keep saying y'all drop y'all badges because I know y'all don't. I know y'all mean well. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get caught up might making your notes and all of that. So we're going to get that out the way. What's going on, Oakland? How y'all doing? I see the Bay Area. Thank you so much. Gorgeous glow. Mississippi, what's up with you? Good Good morning. Good morning, Baltimore. How y'all doing? Hampton, GA. I see y'all this morning. Fort Worth, Texas is checking in. Canada, I see y'all sliding in. They go London. London, how y'all doing this morning? Wisconsin is here. Covington, Georgia is here. New York is here. Sassy Max, appreciate you so much for that badge. New Jersey, how y'all doing? Uh, Mango Oaks are okay. How y'all doing? Columbia, South Carolina, New Jersey is here as well. Memphis, Tennessee, Chicago, San Antonio. I see you guys this morning. Thank you one more time. Gorgeous glow. What's going on in California, Charlotte? I know, I know what? I know that when I get in my topic, y'all gonna be ready to show enough. Bless me, baby, because we're gonna talk about something today. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, before I get started in my video, there you go. Already, I seen the blue sign go up. Go ahead, hit that share button real quick. Hit that share button on this live uh TikTok. Hit that share button on this live real quick. I'm trying to be on everybody's timeline understand that if we can share on ig share it on ig too i'm trying to be on everybody's timeline this morning because what i'm about to say this probably gonna be one of my most important lives this gonna be one of my most important live videos that i know for I, it gotta be at the top it's gonna be one of the top 10 for sure right let me tell you why because we're gonna be talking about your friend group we're gonna be talking about your supporters the people that you're surrounded by we're gonna be talking about the company that you keep and a lot of y'all that's the problem right now you ain't had nobody check you about those folks that you surrounded by good morning the friend say wow well, that while well, i asked you to give me the badges first because i know how y'all is about y'all bestie mm -mm. send me the badge first thank you young zion i appreciate that yeah go ahead send me send me some gifts down here on the bottom first yeah because some of y'all gonna get upset y'all don't like nobody to talk about that bestie y'all don't want nobody to have that conversation about y'all bestie no that's my best friend my best friend my best friend yeah we gonna get on your best friend this morning lady kales thank you so much thank you anthony thank you so much down at the bottom come caramel butterfly appreciate you yeah because a lot of times we don't realize that we are suffering because of the people that we're surrounded by we're suffering about because 
of the company that we keep. We're suffering because we over here trying to hold on to folk that don't want nothing out of their life. Understand that when we say company that you keep, ain't no respect to persons. Hello, somebody, that's your best cousin. That's your best sister. They, it don't matter. Friends, family, all of this going to be included. You have got to be careful about the people that you are surrounded by. You got to be careful with the people that you're connected to. Understand that we didn't talk about the assignment and the attachments before, but today I'm coming from a different type of area, right? I want you to understand how important it is to be surrounded by people that really got your back. Be surrounded by people that really support you. Be surrounded by people that don't look at you and see you as competition. Yeah, that's a red ink pen note all about you. I didn't mean to come in like that, but I was already out here. Mm-hmm. Hold up, yeah, I'm I'm holding on. I, I'm hold I'm holding on. I'm holding on. Yeah, cause sometimes sometimes that's what that's what it be. Sometimes that's what it be right there for some folks. I understand that sometimes that 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 right there. Sometimes that's what it be for some people, man. You know, you got you got to understand that's how some folks roll. Yeah, some folks roll. Some folks that's that's just how some people are. You feel me? They want to get around you. They want to sit in your face. They want to sit in your presence. But the whole entire time, they already know that they are intimidated by you. They're jealous of you. They already know that. You know what I'm saying? I just that. That was a red ink pen note. Get around. Yeah, that's a red ink pen note, right? Well, let me tell you why. Because I, yeah, yeah, you have to put it out there. I don't, if, if you around me and you see me as competition, then you ain't got no business being around me. Hello, somebody. You know, we got a lot, a lot of times we surround ourselves with people. Understand that we surrounded by these folks and these folks right here, they smiling and grinning in your face and they know the whole entire time. You know what I'm saying? They want to be you. Understand that get from around. That's a note right there. Get from around folk that, yeah, get from around folk that want to be you. How you, how you? Yeah, get, get from around them. Get from around. That's note number one. Note number one is get from around folk that want to be you. And and the, the red ink pen note is stay from folks that stay away, stay, stay away from folk that, that see you as competition. Understand that. Both of them together. The red ink pen note is stay away from folk that see you as competition. And the other one was stay away from folk. Get from around folk that want to be you. Because some of them see you as competition. And the other ones, they want to be you. That's two totally different things. Understand that. Yeah, some people see you as competition. So they'll go outside their way. Every single thing that you do, they'll try to outdo that. They'll wear they self out trying to compete with you and you ain't even know you was in a competition. They over there trying to race you and you over there moving at your own pace. They over there, they trying to do all the things that you doing and here you are moving comfortably in your own lane. You ain't worried about nobody. You ain't thinking about nobody. You ain't trying to hurt nobody or nothing like that. But a person that is in competition with you, they'll go outside their way and they'll hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Because they see you as a threat. They'll hurt you and they'll go outside their way to try to damage you because they see you as a threat. And then you have some people that want to be you, right? And that's the note right there. They want to be you so bad that they are trying to attach themselves to you. They'll try to talk like you. Understand, they'll try to do every single thing that you do. Every move that you make. However you move this and do that, they'll be right there on your heels. They'll try to be more you than you. You got to get away from them type of folk. Come on, let's be real. And some of y'all see it in y'all friends, friend group. You see it in, the, in your cousin group. You see it with people that surround you. And you be sitting over there like, man, that's just how they are. Girl, you want to be me so bad. It's not funny. They do. And get away from them. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah you, you see it. And, and you see it. And you laugh about it. You see it. You call it out. But when you call it out, you add that joke onto it. But the fact of the matter is, sis, ain't nothing funny about it. Hello, somebody. Ain't nothing funny about it. One thing's for sure. Two things for certain my grandmama always say be careful for nothing you could take that to the, you could take that to the bank yeah what you say you, you better be careful for nothing be careful for nothing baby be careful for nothing yeah 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 those little things that those little things that you think ain't nothing those be the be those little things are growing into big things those little things are growing into big things and before you know it you have a whole big problem hello somebody and everybody be standing in your face like that's how she always been that's how he always been y'all always acted like that y'all always said stuff like that now why is it a problem now why is it an issue now and that's the reason why i told y'all on monday make sure of the fact that that's right you check folk the first time you you handle business the first time so that they don't make it a habit of being able to disrespect you so that they don't make it a habit of being able to treat you in a way that you know for a fact that you don't like double tap on the screen what we talking about i'm talking about getting around the right type of folk i'm talking about checking your friend group and why is it that you want us to check our friend group uh coach why is this an issue right now because it's 2024 can i i want to drop my title oh okay yeah i see y'all i see y'all i because I'm, I'm giving out notes and i ain't drop my title
title. I want to drop my title. Why, why is it important right now that you start out by saying, you know, you want us to check our friend group. You want us to check the company that we keep. You want us to be mindful of the people that we're surrounding ourselves with. I want you to understand that it's important because in 2024, we're setting ourselves up to go extreme. We're setting ourselves up for success. We're setting ourselves up to go what to a brand new level in life. And I want you to understand that it's going to require you to have a group of folk around you that when you say when one go in, we all going in. What that's my title. That's my title right there. We all going in, baby. We 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 all going in. Get you get yeah. I, I won't. Yeah, we all going in. When one go in, baby, we all going in. When one go in, we 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 all going in. In order for you to go extreme in life, you gotta have the right folk around you. You gotta have folk that are ready to go. Understand that. When one go in, baby, we all going in. Double tap on the screen. I see it down here. I ain't even have to say. We all going in. We all going in. Put it in the comment section. When when one go in, baby, we all going in. She said, I just threw my phone. Yeah. When, when, when one go in, we all going in. We. When, when one go in, we all going in. And why do you say it like that, coach? Because if your prayer is everything that attached to me wins, then you got to be prepared for everybody to come in. If your prayer is not just take care of me and bless me, but bless everything that's also connected to me, uh, understand that when one go in, then we all got to go in. And why in the world do you want to be over there trying to help somebody that's hurting you? Why you want to be supporting somebody and pushing somebody up and they're going outside of their way to do everything to pull you back down why would you want to be connected to somebody that's holding you up at the light oh okay well yeah hold on i got i got yeah let's let's yeah well, how, I, 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 why how you why i want to be connected to somebody that's holding me up at the light all of y'all know the frustration of sitting at a red light everybody know the frustration of sitting at the red light right well, well for my people that just now got into the live video your first red ap know this stay away from folk that are you that choose that see you as competition stay away from folk that see you as competition understand that you got some of those folks in your friend group understand yeah yeah, yeah get away from them folk your black and ap know your first one is stay away from folk that want to be you there's a difference between a person that want to be the person that you are and a person that is in competition with you understand you got some folk that i just want to beat you everybody else can be over there in the race but i want to beat you i want to outlive you i want to have more than you got i want to do more than what you're doing so a person that is in competition with you and a person that want to be you is two totally different things the person that is in competition with you they want to see everybody win but you they want to see everybody have but you everybody can do it but if you do it then it's a very i gotta yeah 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 yeah. y'all good but you uh uh no 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 no. i can't see you having it i can't see you doing it i can't see you being it they in competition with you versus a person that want to be you that stay connected to you so tight and want to operate they want to do what you do say what you say show up how you show they want to mimic everything that's about you except for them struggles Except for, except for them struggles. I'm going to my illustration real quick because I got yeah, I got an illustration. I'm trying to tell you how important it is for you to, to, to check your friend group. How important it is for you to make sure that going into 2024 that you're surrounded by the right type of people. That you're surrounded by people that genuinely have your best interests at hand. That you're surrounded by people that motivate you, that inspire you, that pushes you to become a better version of you. And notice what I say pushes you because I need for you to understand that that can't nobody make you be something that you are not. Can't nobody make you be something that you don't want. So when I say get around the right type of people, I'm talking about get around people that's going to inspire and going to motivate you to change. They can't make you change. All they can do is motivate you. All they can do is give you the skills, to give you the techniques, give you the knowledge that you need. It's up to you to make a decision as to whether or not you're going to make that change. That's not on them. That's not their responsibility. Responsibility. Their responsibility is to be good. That's it. All right, my illustration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you gotta, you, you, you don't want nobody that's holding you up at the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all get ready to bless me because I'm about to make it make sense. Cause this is yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause see, you you done been at the light, right? You done been at the light before, right? You done been at that light, and when you at that light, and and, and as soon as that light about, about to turn red, that light up there, it's in the yellow right now. Imagine the light being at the yellow. Now imagine the light being at the yellow, right? When that light is at the yellow, what do we do? When that light is at the yellow, the car right behind you, when you in the middle of the road, what that car right behind you do? That car that's right behind you pull all the way up on you, right? They say yeah, yeah, that that car that's right behind you it pull all the way up on you, right? 
right? Because why? I don't want to miss my moment. You got to have people that's surrounding you, that's connected to you. They, they waiting on your yes. They waiting on you to say, yes, this going to be the next move. They waiting on you to say, yes, we're going to go through this life. They waiting on you and you can't. Yeah, yeah, you, you got some folk that's riding on you. You got somebody that's waiting on you to make that move so that you don't what? That you don't make them miss the life. You about to make me miss my moment procrastinating. You about to make me miss my moment because you being lazy. You about to make me miss my moment because you distracted on your phone. You about to make me miss my moment because you in your car uh, doing something that you ain't got no business doing. Slide up so I don't miss the life. And right before you get ready to do that, what? What they do? If it's the right type of person that's behind you, they gonna hit the horn. If it's the right type of person that's behind you, they gonna hit the horn, right? They gonna hit the horn to warn you that you about to make us miss the light. You about to make us miss our moment. Those are the people that you want in your life. You want people that are gonna be in your life that's gonna let you know you're messing up right now. Right? What note that is? You want to be surrounded by folk that's going to hold you accountable. Folk that's not, yeah, yeah, you want, that's a note right there for you. Get around some folk that's going to, in 2024, get around somebody that's going to hold you accountable and not going to enable you. Get around some folk that's going to bonk the horn at you, that's going to let you know that you need to pay attention. Get around some folk that's about to warn you that you about to bump your head. Get around some folk that's about to tell you you need to get locked in. Get around some folk that's going to bring up the fact, didn't you say you about to work out? Didn't you say you was establishing new boundaries? Didn't you say you wasn't taking on no more disrespect? Didn't you say you're going to start speaking up for yourself? Get around somebody that's going to honk the horn to let you know, hey, you got to pay attention. Come on, double tap on the screen. Yeah. Because if they don't honk that horn, you will sit there and miss the light. If they don't, and, 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 and yeah, you, you got you to gotta beep, beep. There you go right there. I said, and yeah, 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 hit him, hit him with a beep, beep. You got to hit him with that beep, beep real quick. I got I to gotta honk. I got to honk my horn. Because it's being surrounded by the right people, you got to understand that it matters. And if you sit over there in this year and you stay connected to people, understand that that ain't going nowhere in life. If you sit over there and you stay connected to people that don't want nothing in life. If you sit over there and you stay connected to people that are comfortable with the mediocre, that are comfortable without having, that are comfortable with the basic, um, the basic life, then guess what? You are going to shrink and be right there with them understand that and not oh yeah you're you gonna shrink right there with them if you sit around people that don't want nothing out of life if you sit right over there with those people with that lack thinking if you sit over there with those folk guess what's gonna happen just like they say you sit around the fire long enough you're gonna get burned you sit around shrink shrunken people the uh, uh, low thinking low vibrational people then guess what your vibration gonna do the same exact thing and not only that that's because they're gonna become a distraction to you in your life you gotta understand that when a person and don't have anything or a group of people don't have anything then they're going to distract you from having as well a person that don't have anything they're going to distract you to the point where you lose everything that you got and it doesn't happen overnight so don't get to think of where I could be around them but that don't be doing nothing to me no you could be around them and you think that it's not doing anything to you and you think that you're in a better place than what you what you need to be in but you're only thinking that because of the people that's around you because you look at them as, they, as though that they're lost than you, you start to feel like you got more than them. You feel like you're the big fish, but the problem really is, is know that you're not a big fish. You just in a small pond. Yeah, that hurts somebody's feelings. I'm sorry. Yeah, you think you think yeah you thinking more of yourself than what you really are. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. You 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 thinking well? I, I I sit around them, but I'm not like them. I sit around them, but I ain't like them. I sit around them, but I still got this and I still got that. Yeah, you 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 thinking that you thinking that you a big fish, but it's not that you are a big fish. You just in a small pond. You feel big about yourself because you're surrounding your by you surrounding yourself with people that you feel like you're smarter than. You feel like you're big because you're surrounding yourself by people that you feel like have less than you, and you take pride in being that in that situation right there, and you start to think that you got more than. 
then you know what I'm saying you have more and you're doing more and all of that not even realizing that you still stuck that you still stagnant not realizing that you are still self-sabotaging understand that if you want to grow if you want to evolve in life you want to put yourself out there on a regular ba uh, basis with people that you're smarter than you want to be surrounded by people that you can learn from you want to be surrounded by people that are going to continue to push you further up and further up if you're the, you're the smartest person in the room then baby you in the very wrong room you ain't got no business there but what happens is you get over there and you get comfortable because you like the fact that you think that people look up to you you over there and yeah you you like the fact that you think that oh yeah well you know everybody come to me with yeah then that's a problem oh okay i'm waiting on y'all double tap on this screen real quick Note number, no, 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 yeah, double tap on the screen real quick. Note number one, note number one was get around people that don't want to be you. Yeah, get around some folk that don't want to be you. Red ink pen notice, get around, uh, get from around people that see you as competition. Illustration is the light, right? Send that, that light, you got to understand. Get around some people that's going to blow the horn, that's going to hit you with that beep beep when they know for a fact, yeah, uh, somebody that's going to hit you with that beep beep. Hey, wait a minute, you got to miss your moment. Get around some folk that are going to hold you. The, your third note that I just gave out is get around some people that's going to hold you accountable, understand, and not enable you. Hold you accountable for what it is that you're doing and not make excuses for your broken behavior. Not sit over there and make you think that it's okay that you behave the way that you're behaving. Get, get around some folk, understand, that's going to push you to your next level because you got to understand what is my title today. We all going in. When one go in, we all going in. And if you over there moving slow, then how we all going to get in? If you over there in the way, then how we all going to get in? Understand that when your prayer is, I pray that everybody that's connected to me is going to win, then how you going to get in if you got all this extra weight that's doing absolutely nothing? How you going to get in? How you going to make it through the door? How you going to grab that opportunity? How you going to get into that next base if you over there still trying to push and prime and pump up people that are comfortable with having nothing people that are comfortable with the bare minimum people who are already still they cool and calm and collected with yeah i'm still dancing with my demons i'm still cool with my generation of curses up this is how it's always been so i don't see no problem with letting it change and you got to develop the mentality of okay you know what i love you but i gotta leave you i love you but i gotta cut you i gotta cut ties with you i love you but i gotta walk away from this why because i cannot destroy me trying to help you i can't keep me stuck and stagnant because i want to see you have more because i want to see you grow i want to see you heal i want to see you develop you got to understand that this is a personal journey you can want that for them but if they don't want that for themselves you gotta honor yourself and say i gotta go um, yeah, one, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on y'all to double tap. Yeah, we, we should be way over 100K. We at 96.9. Double tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, and I, I just feel the need to run that part back. Yeah, you can want it for them all you want. You can want it for them all you want. You can want it for them all you want. But if they don't want it for themselves, you have to honor yourself. Somebody need to be writing that as fast as I say it. You have to honor yourself enough to detach yourself to save you. You cannot continue to just sacrifice yourself for other people. When you see people don't want it you have to walk away when you see people are comfortable living with less than what they deserve and receiving a bare minimum out of life and putting up with disrespect then you have to honor yourself enough to say that i don't want that i don't want that connected to me i don't want to be surrounded by that i don't want to partake in that i know what y'all serve at y'all table and that don't fit my appetite my appetite is not set up for that my appetite is not for that right there that's not what i want if you're not over here and we can't pray together if we can't fast together if we can't get out here and write down our goals and aspirations for life together if we can't talk about nothing other than other folk business then guess what i don't want that energy around me i don't want to deal with that type of life anymore i'm, I'm out of that everybody got a struggle everybody got a story everybody got something that they're going through in life and i don't have time to be sweeping around other folk front door when around my front door I got trash piled up to the peephole come on now at one point or another you gotta get um, understand that you gotta check out evaluate you gotta what assess the folk that you are surrounded by because everybody can't go everybody can't be a part everybody can't celebrate with you everybody can't eat with you everybody can't drink with you everybody won't be able to go to that finish line with you and that's okay 
thing. But you have to have that mentality that when I go in, you got to be prepared to go in. Because if not, then what we going to do? If I'm going in. That just be real. If yeah, yeah, yeah. If 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 I'm going in, I'm ready to go in. I'm ready to I'm ready to cross over. I'm ready to go over there and do it. I'm ready to be a, a risk taker. I'm ready to go out there and I'm ready to conquer the world. I'm ready to go try some new things. I'm ready to live up to my fullest potential. I'm ready to go up here and I'm ready to show out. What's gonna happen, coach, if I'm still connected to those people that you're talking about? Coach, break that down so that I can understand it. If you if I'm in a position in my life where I'm ready to grow, I'm ready to evolve, I'm ready to live my best life, I'm ready to have peace, I'm ready to have joy, I'm ready to have sanity, I'm ready to get rid of all all of this, I want to feel that feeling of being just genuinely at peace in my life. What am I going to? Yeah, yeah. What, what are you telling me that if I, if this been my best friend for 20 years, this been my best friend for 20 years, this my favorite cousin, we done been together our whole entire life. What I'm saying to you is that when you surround yourself with those type of people that don't have that same type of mindset, when you surround yourself with those type of people that are going absolutely nowhere fast, when you surround yourself and connect yourself with those type of people those people are going to stunt your growth you will spend majority of your time trying to talk them off the ledge you will spend majority of your time trying to get them to understand where you're coming from you will spend majority of your time trying to tell them you can have more you can be more you can be how many times have you had this conversation with that same person you keep going to jail man you keep throwing away your money man you keep making these bad decisions man you keep doing this and you just keep saving them you keep running after them you keep giving up your goods you keep giving up your attention you keep giving up your love you keep being distracted because you keep going over there trying to save somebody that don't want to be saved yeah I'm gonna yeah I'm just gonna wait yeah I'm just yeah yeah, I, cause I, I want I want to go to my next note, so doggone bad. But yeah, I'm waiting. Y'all y'all got y'all gonna have to double tap. Yeah, cause that's a fact. You 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 out here. You trying to save people that don't want to be saved, and you don't understand the distraction that is bringing to your life. You don't understand the hurt and the pain that is bringing to your life. You over there feeling like your chest heavy. You over there feeling like your heart is heavy. You over there feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulder, and it's not because you got something going on in your life. It's because you're carrying the weight of your family. You're carrying the weight of the the friend group you're carrying the weight of the world everything is resting on you and you don't even understand that you have the power to set that all to the side you don't understand that you have the power to say I'm detaching myself from this you don't understand that you have the power to say that enough is enough and from this day forward if you want it for you want it you have to go get it if that's how you want to live then that's how you're gonna live you are destroying yourself because you're distracted by what other folk got going on in their life you are allowing your emotions to keep you in a situation you're allowing your loyalty to keep you in a situation not understanding that now you're showing that I'm more loyal to you than I am to myself so I'm loyal to my friends so that's why I stay even though they disrespect me I'm loyal to my friends even though I know that I'm more of a friend to them than they'll be to me I'm loyal to my friends I'm gonna show up for them I'm gonna show out for them I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that they have even though I know that they would not reciprocate it even though I know that I could not get the same thing from them I'm going to continue to go outside of my way And be the glue that hold the family together I'm going to go outside my way And continue to be that family member That calls all the family functions And hold the weight of the family Because y'all know great granny ain't here no more So somebody got to do it And if coach if I don't do it Then it won't be done Even though the whole family don't do nothing but talk about me Even though the whole family don't do nothing but bash me Even though the whole family don't do nothing but say I think I'm better than everybody else Even though Though the whole family don't have no type of respect for me but I'm always the first person that they call when something go down and they'll never do it for me they will never show up for me I know that already but I feel like I just got to do it you don't have to do it enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough I'm, I'm waiting on y'all I'm waiting on y'all TikTok, man. Get us up. Get us up. We at 147.4K. 
Get us up to 200K. Double tap. Yeah, like, 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 let's just be real. Let's, yeah, you at one point or another, you got to be real about it. You, you have to see the distraction that being around the wrong people bring. When you are connected to the wrong people, when you're surrounded by the wrong people, this right here, this, this is the results of being connected to those people. And then you try to create the excuse for them being the way that they are by throwing in, oh, that's my family. You got to understand that your boundaries cannot play favoritism. You cannot have favoritism when you're talking about your boundaries if you're not going to tolerate disrespect you shouldn't tolerate disrespect from nobody if you're not going to do any 80 20 60 40 relationships you should make that go for everybody that's friends that's family that's job that's church that's all the way around the board at the end of the day these are my boundaries these are the consequences that my boundaries come with if you disrespect me you lose access to me if you disrespect me you know yeah, we're not sharing space if you disrespect me you don't get to stay connected to me. This is how I'm moving. This is how I'm operating. I am honoring myself in 2024. I only want to be surrounded by people that are alert, that are paying attention, that are holding me accountable. I only want to be around people that don't want to be me, but want to see the best for me. Want to see me grow. Want to see me heal. Want to see me living up to my fullest potential. I want to be on the right team because when I go in, you got to be ready to go in. That's a fact, because when I go in, you, yeah, 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 when I go in, you got to be, you got to, you got to be ready to go in when I go in, sis, that's what we're doing, yeah, you got to be ready, you, well, when I go, you got to be prepared to go, just like the car at the light, baby, you better be up on my bumper, you better be up on my bumper, because if you're not up on my bumper, if you're not here with me, when I turn, you're going to be stuck at that light, and I'm going to be, yeah, yeah, just like life, just like when the car turns, it, it keep on going, when it, when that light turns, if you're not up on that car, if you ain't in the middle of the road right there with that car, then guess what's happened, they're going to take off and they're going to keep on going. And guess what's going to happen? That's how it is in, in reality. That's how it is on the road as you're driving. It's the same way in life. If you're not up on that bumper in life, if you're not connected to the right people, understand that when they open that door and that person that you share space with, that person that you over there with all the time, I tell my people all the time, why go somewhere with somebody and they'll get in a bag and you don't set yourself up to get a bag right there with them? If you have a gift, if you have a talent, if it's something that you do, why not get on board with that? I don't want to be you. I just want to play my part. If you the head, let me be the arm. If you the head, let me be the foot. If you the head, let me be the stomach. If you the head, let me be the thigh. Understand that we have, all have our own job. We all have our own thing. We're all creating and you know what I'm saying? Doing things differently. Understand that. Yeah, I ain't trying to be you. You ain't trying to be me. You can't do the job that I do. I can't do the job that you do, but we can support each other all the way through and when one go in we all go in let's be real let's be real and you can't make a move like that you can't you can't make a move like that with shady people you can't make a move like that with shaky people you can't make a move like that with people that, that self-doubt, that's full of fear. You can't make a move like that. You can't be no risk taker like that if you're dealing with some double-minded folk. You can't take a move like that. You won't be able to move like that when you got folk on your team that's straddling the fence. You can't make a move like that if you're surrounded by folk that are lukewarm. You can't have a big business idea and your friends got every excuse as to why you can't do it. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that. I forgot I said I was waiting on y'all to double tap because I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm TTG. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of seeing winners with losers. And that's it. Y'all got to excuse me. Tifa, I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have called them no loser, huh? But, baby, that's how I feel like. That's how I feel. I'm tired of seeing winners with losers. I'm, start, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of seeing that. I'm tired of seeing winners, you know what I'm saying, people that are ready to win and really ready, ready to grow in life and they surrounded by, like, why are you here? You know what I'm saying, negative nasty. Why are you here, Debbie Dowder? Why are you here, point pity party pack? Why are you here, little spectator? You why are you over here connected, little hater? If every time you show up here, you gonna go be sitting up in here with your face balled up. Why come? Why every time you show up, you whining and you complaining about something? Nobody needs that energy. Nobody wanna deal with that type of energy. If you wasn't gonna be supportive, if you wasn't gonna clap, if you wasn't gonna show up, we well, you know I'm saying ready to participate and ready to do. Why would why why come? Why bring your little funky behind over here? We we just try, you know. And I can't stand that. 
Get around the right type of folk. Because what happens is the same way it is when you're at that light and that person go. And when they go, they're going to keep on going down the road and you're going to be stuck at life. Guess what happens? That's the same way it is in, in this realm as well. The moment that that door open, if you're not right there with them going through that door, then guess what? You just missed your moment. Put in the comment section. Miss your moment. Oh, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ain't connected to me, baby, you about to miss your moment. Yeah, just put in the comment section because there's some folks in your life right now, they about to miss that moment because they don't know that their time is winding down with you. They don't know that you halfway out the door already. Just put in the comment section. Miss your moment. They about, yeah, they about to miss their moment. They don't know that they, they don't they don't know that you at your wits end with it. They don't know that you fed up with everything. Yeah, they don't know that you fed up, but yeah, they, 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 yeah. they don't know that you fed up. They don't know that you sick and tired. Yeah, they still count. Yeah, they still counting on you having that. That old mentality. They still depending on and counting on and thinking that you still gonna continue to forgive. You keep on your. They keep thinking that they keep, they keep thinking that they got forever with you. If you know for a fact, that coach, that's me right there. It's some folks in my life right now, baby. They 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 think they got forever with me. They don't think that I'm gonna leave them. They don't think that I'm gonna walk out. They don't think that I'm gonna put my foot down. They don't think that I really break up with them. They done got so comfortable with the disrespect. They do it right there in my face. They they don't even try to hide it no more, coach. They come in and say and do and act like how. Or they want to act. They done got real comfortable with disrespecting me. They don't even know that you halfway out the door. They don't even know that you got a plan in place. They don't even know that yeah yeah that you do right now that what you're doing is a preparation stage. They don't even know that. They don't even know they about to what coach miss a moment. Yeah, about to, about, to, about to miss their moment. Yeah, they about, they about to miss their moment. Yeah, they're going to be sitting over there at the light. They're going to have to wait on the next light to come. Hello. What do you say? They're going to have to wait on that next light to come. Yeah, you have to wait on everybody else to go, and then it's going to be your go, baby. Yeah, I'm all the way down the road. I'm halfway around the corner right now. I done took off. That's right. I done took off already. If you wasn't over there distracted, if you wasn't over there having a pity party, if you wasn't over there sitting and soaking, then you would have seen that I had been already took my foot up off that brake light, and I was already hitting the gas. You would have seen that already. If you would have been paying attention if you would have been locked in if you was over here praying with me if you was over here fasting with me if you was over here getting in the room with me if you was over here in the mental health group with me if you was over here connected then baby you would have knew that I had already took my foot up off that break and you would have seen that I was applying that glass that gas I had I had the pressure on the gas already but because you was distracted over there with some what somebody else got going on you was over there looking at the baddies of the south baby you was over there strolling and trying to see what other drama like whatever chaos and who didn't broke up now and who got cheated on now and who didn't got divorced from now you were so busy over there on facebook instagram and somebody else's business that serve absolutely no purpose in your own life you didn't realize that i had already lift my foot up up off of that yeah yeah i got my foot up off the brake and i didn't got it on the gas and here i am all the way out here and you stuck at the light now you're gonna have to wait why because the next note is this right here yeah okay y'all at 215 there we go why let me tell you why because the next notice this right here i'm getting from around folk i gotta babysit <laughs> yeah i'm gonna jump up off this chair yeah i ain't doing no more babysitting i ain't doing yeah i ain't doing no more babysitting we ain't doing no more babysitting 2024 the babysitting services stop baby understand that yeah we we we, we, we no more babysitting yeah, friends say, what you say? I, boy, you seen how I'm going to up off this chair, baby. We ain't doing no more babysitting. Note number one, no, a red ink pen note that we started out was, get from around people that, that you know see you as competition. Note number one was, get from around people that want to be you. Understand that. The next note that I gave y'all, I said was to get from around, get around people, get uh, around people that are going to hold you accountable and not enable your behavior. Get around some folk that's going to tell you that you're about to run your head into that brick wall. Then the next note that I just gave you, which is going to be note number four, that is get from around folk. You got to babysit. That ain't my job to babysit you. The illustration that I just gave y'all on that is the light. Being at that light, understand that when you at that light. And I also told you that, yeah, you want a winning team. I want, I want me a winning, I want me a winning team. I want me, a, I want me a winning, I want a winning team. And, 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 and I say that to say that they always say that somebody, and I say this all the time, that they always say that everybody needs somebody. And one thing that I'm going to agree on is that everybody definitely needs somebody, but you don't need no, just any somebody. You need the right type of somebodies. Everybody needs somebody, but not just somebody. You need the right type of somebodies. You don't just need a warm body there. You don't need somebody just taking up space. 
place. You don't need somebody that's just there for company. You don't need that in your life. And that's the reason why I am breaking it down the way that I am, because I want you to assess the people that you have around you. I want you to evaluate the people that you have around you. I want you to understand how important it is to have the right people in the right position in your life in order for you to go extreme, in order for you to accomplish the goal, in order for you to win the battle, you have to have the right type of people in position. And just because you've known them for a long time does not mean that they deserve a position. I told y'all I was ready for this today. I, I've been telling y'all, yeah, okay, well, uh, friend, for yeah, some people got a position, that high position in your life, and they only got that high position. Friends, <laughs> Tifa talking about girl. Yeah, it be, yeah, and I, I got to say it because I'm so far out here, y'all. Can I say it? Just put say it, coach. Because I, yeah, I, yeah, I know some of y'all going to get mad at me. Go ahead, send me some love up top on IG. IG, let me get five badges up top. Yeah, come on now. I, I already know how this is about to go. Friend, they, they, they about, they, they, it's, I'm about to get your steel toes out. Put your steel toe boots on for a second. I need you to grab your steel toe boots. I'm, I'm about to finish it. Friend, friend, say finish that sentence. Baby, you already know it's coming. The, put your steel toe shoes on real quick. Put your steel, I need for you to understand that just because that person has been in your life for a very long time does not guarantee them a position in this life that you're creating right now. You got to understand that, right? And some of y'all right now are very loyal to people and you're only loyal to those people because of the time that you've known that person. But the person that knew that person was the broken person. The person that knew that person was the person that was in shambles. That was the old broken version of you. That was the version of you that did not know any better. That that was the version of you that was operating without boundaries. Understand that. You are a brand new individual. This right here, baby, this do over. They don't know the person that you are right now. You did 20 years with them, but guess what? You did 20 years with them not knowing who you are. You did 20 years with them, and guess what? They still don't know you because you didn't know you. You're just now learning who you are. You are just now establishing your boundaries. You are just now coming into your brand new self and you're being loyal to somebody that only knew you when you were broken. Oh, we've been, we've been such and such for 20 years. We've been, yeah, we've been together like this, but we've been together like this for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. And it's been no growth. No development, no nothing. In all of those years, y'all ain't did nothing but party and hang out, party and hang out, and, and, and that's and that's it. That's all. Could yeah. Let's just let's just be real about it. That's it. And y'all were friends as long as they was providing a service. Y'all was friends as long as they was on the same page as you. But will we still be friends when? I change my life. Will we still be friends when I'm operating differently, showing up differently, when I'm living a healthier lifestyle? Would you and I still be what we would consider to be besties? Will we still be? Will we still have that same relationship? And what I'm saying is when you start to grow and heal and develop in your life, you got to understand that good boundaries are going to come with some goodbyes. You're going to have some folk that you love more than anything. You're going to have some people that you've been with your whole entire life life, you're going to have some people that you look at and you have said multiple times to yourself and even to them that you're the best thing that ever happened to me. And as you grow, as you heal, as your thought process begin to shift and you start to see what you really deserve in life, then you're going to see that that person that you thought was the best thing that ever happened to you was only showing up in your life with the bare minimum. They was only showing up in your life, giving you bare to none. And, and, and guess what? Because you were used to receiving nothing you praise that bare minimum friends say ouch oh i'm just gonna wait I, yeah that's why i asked for the love first because i already knew yeah I, what what the more to the story is i'm i'm not babysitting nobody in 2024 yeah baby yeah you about to miss your moment i'm not i'm not i'm not babysitting nobody in 2024 and your taste yeah 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 i'm gonna get there i just want you to know that your taste gonna change your taste starts to change the moment that you start to grow you start to heal and develop in life your taste in people are going to change your taste in environments is going to change your taste in 
you'll go from, oh, I used to go out every Friday and Saturday night. Sometimes we started on Thursday and we would party from Thursday night to Friday night to Saturday night. Sunday, we would get up and go to brunch and sit up and brunch. And y'all know they turn brunch into a whole party. We'll have brunch and then I go home. I got to watch my Lifetime movies and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm back working again. That was my lifestyle. That's what I done. That's how I lived. Then all of a sudden, that mental switch got flipped. And now I want something bigger and better out of my life. I see where I'm just throwing money away. I see why I've been extremely wasteful. I see now that I need to adjust some certain things in my life. Now I'm vibrating on a different type of frequency. Now I see how important it is for me to save. Now I see how important it is for me to heal, for me to grow. Now I see, yeah, yeah. And now that I'm operating in that type of way, now I don't have that type of taste. People, oh yeah, you going out tonight, girl? No, I'm tired. I got, yeah, I got some stuff I got to do in the morning. And here you are now that went from going out three nights a week to all of a sudden, yeah, I go out once a month. I treat myself once a month. I treat myself twice a month. Whenever I go out, it's never to the club anymore. Now when I go out, I'm going to a retreat. Now when I go out, I'm going to like a girl's brunch, an empowerment brunch. I'm going to an empowerment conference. I'm going to do something that's going to add some type of substance, some type of value to my life. But if you still in party girl mode, then you're not going to want to come to that brunch. If you still in party girl mode, then you're not want to come to that conference. If you still in party girl mode, then you don't want to come up to this webinar. You don't want to sit in a mental health support group because of the fact that you're still in one mode and I'm over here. So what are you trying to say, coach? What are you telling us now? My next note is get around some folk that are like-minded. Get around some folk that want more out of their life. Being connected to people that you're unequally yoked with is also damaging to you and your growth and development. It's a distraction. Get around some folk that want the same stuff. Get around some folk that you can grow from. Get around, yeah, get around. I'm telling you, because what happened is that all you're gonna hear is that girl, you don't like to have fun no more. You don't like to have fun no more. I know you like Jesus and everything, but good Lord. Yeah, everything that get that got to be everything that you do. Man, dog, we used to be able to have us a good time. Now you just boring. I don't like that. I don't like that you boring. I don't like that you like to just sit in a house like now you reading books. Girl, bye. We about to go. Yeah. And they judge you, and they bash you, and they discredit you, and they make you feel bad for changing. They make you feel wrong for wanting more out of your life. Then they throw in, oh, you think you better than everybody else. Then they jump, up, jump in and say, oh, you think you bougie now. Oh, you think that you this and you, yeah, all because, all because. I want to grow all because I want something better out of my life. And I'm saying that because if you're not strong enough mentally, the enemy will slide right on in and make you question yourself. Am I really boring? Am I really not a good friend because I don't want to go? Am I really letting them down because I didn't show up to that even though they know that I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't party like that no more. And if I show up, I'm going to be sitting over in the corner like, why even go there? Like, if y'all going to do go out to dinner or something, then I'll come to that. Like, am I really wrong? If you're not mentally stable, the enemy will slide in and put that doubt. The enemy will slide in there and make you feel like you're wrong for wanting more. Make you feel like you're wrong for establishing boundaries. And the enemy will have you slide on over into a place where you're providing comfort while you're uncomfortable. Just to satisfy other people. Push you right on up out of your boundary, right on back over into people pleasing all over again. Because now you're talking yourself into environments that you don't want to be in. You're only there because you don't want them to be mad at you. You only showing up because you don't want them to say anything negative about you. You only showing up because you don't want to hear a mouth. And I know that if I don't go, then it's go. Oh yeah, I told you get your steel toes this morning. So you didn't slid back in without even knowing. Now you're a people pleaser again. Friend, <laughs> Ashley say, girl, I'm just hey, I, I gotta put it out there so that you will understand. You have to get around people that are like minded.
You have to get around people that understand what growth and development is. Your taste for people, your taste for places and situations are going to change as you continue to grow on this level, from one level to the next level to the next level. It's going to constantly be changing. Thank you so much, Kalia. Thank you so much, Beauty. I appreciate you. It's going to always be changing. And that's the reason why your coach is always telling you, do not be codependent. I don't want you walking around being codependent. I want you to be able to operate with your own identity. I want you to be able to operate even if it's just you by yourself. I want you to become your own best friend. I want you to embrace your time that you have alone. I want you to be able to enjoy your own good company without feeling like, oh, I'm bored. Oh, I need somebody to text me. I need somebody to call me. I need somebody to be sitting in my face. I need for you to be able to utilize that time to say while I'm at home by myself, I'm going to get a couple chapters in while I'm at home by myself. Oh, baby, this is a good time to ground. While I'm at home by myself, I'm going to really get into some meditation. While I'm at home by myself, I'm going to turn up my inspirational music. While I'm at home by myself, I'm going to get on my treadmill. While I'm at home by myself, I'm going to enjoy some personal time just relaxing. If I want to take a nap, I'm about to take me a nap. I just want to enjoy being able to just to be able to exist. Because existing, it's also a gift. And sometimes we don't appreciate that gift. Sometimes we don't appreciate the gift of simply being able to exist and enjoy this moment, enjoy this day. We take it for granted as if it's promised and it's not. We act like we forget that. We so easy to forget. Right? I want to move on because I, I still got more. I need for you to know that you have to assess your team, that you have to uh, evaluate your team, that you have to get around the right type of people if you're trying to grow, if you're trying to evolve, if you're trying to push yourself to that brand new level in life, it's important. Your support system matters. You're the people that you are connected to. That right there, that matters because I'm going to tell you, that's the damage that you will do to, that's the damage that you will do to yourself by being connected to the wrong people. This is the damage. This is the distraction. This is the setback. This is that dark hole that we were talking about of debt of life. That right there from yesterday, this is what we're talking about. You, If you are connected to the wrong people, that right there, those are the consequences. It's going to cost you. Being connected to the wrong people is going to cost you every single time. It's a distraction. It's an easy way for the enemy to slide in. It's the easy way for the enemy to, to, to bamboozle you, to hoodwink you, to pull you out of alignment, to make you self-doubt, to slide you back into over there in that place where you're people pleasing. You have got to know that it's important to have the right type of people in the right type of positions in your life. It's, you, they got to be right people, right position. That's a red ink pen note. I got to have the right people in the right position. Right people in the right position. The right people got to be in the right position. The right people got you can't have you can't have the you can't have the foot trying to do the arm job. You can't have the arm trying to do the foot job. You can't have the elbow doing the knee job. The knee won't be able to do the elbow job. I got to have the right people in the right position. That's just how it has to work. You got yeah, I, that's just how it has to work for the people that 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 you I use cars for some of y'all. Now let me make it let me make it more sense. Can I make it make can I I make it make sense for the folks that, that like basketball, that like basketball, that like football, that like sports. When you win a game, right? Whenever y'all win a game and y'all get a ring, everybody on the team get a ring, right? Everybody that's on that team going to get a ring and it doesn't matter what position that they play, right? I mean, it doesn't matter what position that they was out there playing. Everybody's going to get a ring. Even if those folks were sitting on the bench, even if they didn't get no play time, right? Understand. But when you're on that court, when you're on the court, everybody has a 
job to do. Everybody do their job. And if everybody do their job effectively and we get a win, then we all get a ring. If your friend group is operating effectively, if y'all are showing up, everybody in their own position, not competing against each other, not trying to be the other person, not trying to outshine or outdo what the other person is doing and you operate over there in your own area, then guess what? We all going to get that ring. Whether you put up 40 points or I put up 10, I'm still getting my ring. I did, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah that that yeah I didn't do a layup I did a I did a three point shot I'm still getting my ring understand that yeah I had to ride the bench because y'all were doing such an excellent job out there I didn't get much playing time but I'm still gonna get me a win a, a ring understand that so when I say that and, and, and I just got because I have to make it so that everybody I got to make it so when one when y'all go in we all going in that's right if y'all go in then we're all going in but guess what the thing about that though is this right here we all practice together we all go to the same practice. We all have the same practice schedule. We all get on the same uh, uh, game bus. We all walk in together. We all got on the same uniform. We all have the same coach. Everything that you do, I do. And guess what? If you go out there and you got injured, if you go out there on the court and you sprain your ankle, then guess what? The coach got somebody that's been practicing with the team, somebody that's been traveling with the team, somebody that can step right back in and say, what? I got your back. Don't you worry about it. Tag me in, baby. You go right over there you get tagged in and the game is going to continue what you say coach have people on your team understand that's growing like you evolving like you understanding and doing the things that you're doing that's close up right there baby I'm right there when you move I'm gonna move when you take that light I'm gonna take that light understand that while you out there playing I'm watching what's going on because I need to know what I need to do when I get tagged in you cannot have people on your team understand that can't be tagged in. I can't tag you in if you distracted, if you sitting over there on the bench and you on your phone, if you sitting over there on the bench and you laughing and joking with the other players, if you sitting over there on the bench and you interacting with the people in the stands, or if you sitting over there on the bench drinking up all the Gatorade, you got to be paying attention to the game. You want to have some folk attached to you that ain't paying attention. That ain't growing, that ain't evolving, that ain't locked into life. Now here you go, you get hurt, you get injured, you get taken out the game. Oh Lord, how we gonna survive? Cause they can't even make one and one equal two. You have to have a strong support system. You have to have a strong Support group people that are surrounding you that's ready. I'm ready. I'm, on, I'm, I'm right here. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take off. Understand that I'm, I'm ready to do exactly what you need me to do. I'm not going to get out there and play your game, but I'm definitely going to get out there and I'm going to play the game because I'm locked in. I've been sitting from the bench. I've been waiting on my shot. You have to have people on your team understand that's waiting on their time where well, you can say, I need you and you. This is what we're going to be doing. I need you and you and watch how we take off. You don't need nobody on your team when you call them up to the front and you saying, this is what we about to do. This what we about, this the next move that we about to make. And they looking at you talking about, I don't know if I'm really ready for that yet. And you know, I'm still kind of shy. And you know, I got an old speech impediment. And I don't know how people going to take me. And I don't know why I might, you, why you want them type of folk? You about to miss your moment. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. You want to be connected by folk that's ready. I'm ready. Give me my give me my time. Give me my date. Let me know what I got to do. Ready. Whatever, whatever, however you want to go about the type of friend. What we finna do when we get over here? Matter of fact, let me put my shoes and shirt on. Tell me on the way. I'm ready. How we about to handle this situation, baby? I, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, ready. That's what, yeah, that's then the people that you want to have on your team. Because guess what? Whether you're on the bench or you're on the court, you still going to get a ring. Whether you're on the, out there on the field or you're on the bench, you still going to get a ring. No matter what, you got one job. Show up, practice with the team. You got one job to get on the bus with the team. You got one job to get suited up like the team. You got one job. That's to pay attention to what's going on in the game. Keeping your head in the game. And if you're surrounded by 
people whose head is not in the game. Guess what? Come on. I just, I got to go here with it. What's going to happen if you're surrounded by people whose head is not in the game? People who slow and showing up late to practice. People who are not functioning the way that they're supposed to function. What's going to happen when they come to, it's time to come to the game and they got to take you out and they got to put them in. If their head is not in the game, you are going to cost us the game. You about to set us back. We about to miss our moment. We about to lose our reign. Because of the connection. You about to miss your moment. You about to lose your, win, your ring. Because of the connection. I don't care how long I've known you. You can't, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're not, you're not costing me. I don't care what type of connection we, yeah, you're not costing me. Because when I go in, we all got to go in. When one step up, then we all got to step up. When this is what we do, this is how it got to be done. All right? That should be, let's just be real about it. Let's talk about this real quick. Wait on y'all, double tap on the screen, man. Y'all at 314.2. Mm. That's on the game. That's on the game standpoint. How y'all doing? Y'all hanging in there with me? Y'all hanging in there with me? Talk to me in the chat real quick. She say like, preaching and teaching. <laughs> hey, man, come on. I, oh, you know, you know. Now, now, now we about y'all know what I'm about to go to. Y'all know I'm about. I, I already did. I did the car. I did it for my sports fans. Y'all, I hope that yeah, y'all here. I see Tifa. Tifa say we here talking about I'm hanging. Y'all hanging. Send me some love. Send me some love. Thank you, the um diva. Send me some love up top on IG. Friend said, Oh, we about to hit the Bible. <laughs> Friend said, we about to hit the Bible. She always gonna give a mini sermon at the end. She always gonna <laughs> come on, double tap on the screen. Send me some love. Yeah, uh, yeah. Church people, mm -mm. church people, church people, hello. Uh, church people, hello, good evening. You know what I'm saying? Can we all stand for the? Okay, 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 okay. Hey, y'all, 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 y'all read, y'all, y'all read, cause y'all know I'm about to go there, right? Yeah, I just, I just, you know, cause sometimes some people won't get it until you put it into a, a way where they can get it. They won't understand it until you put it into a way that they are able to understand. And I feel like as a motivational speaker and teacher of uh, mental health, then it's my job to make sure that every single message is always well rounded and broke down in a way that everybody in every aspect of life will be able to comprehend it and. And that's just what that's just what I gotta do, and I have to do it every single time. Are uh, y'all ready? She's talking, y'all, y'all ready? <laughs> Man, listen, 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 listen. I, I, I want to go to Exodus, Exodus 17, baby. Exodus 17 and 11. I just want to talk about Moses real quick. Uh, Exodus, uh, Exodus, that's gonna be 17 and 11. 17 and 11. I just want to, I, yeah, come on, friend. Come on, it's it's my mini sermon and I'm out. It's it, I, I just I, I just want I want I just want to bring it out and put I just want to put it out there. I need for you to under, I want to talk about Moses. I want to talk about Moses when he was out there. I want the, what we're talking about today is when one go in, we all go in. What we're talking about is making sure that you're surrounded by the right type of people, that you have the right type of support system in your life. And just because you've been with friends a long time does not mean that that relationship is the healthiest relationship for you. And you have got to understand that it's okay to have new friends. It's okay to get people that fit your new lifestyle. You have to make sure that you have people in your life that one are not in competition with you. People in your life that don't want to be you, people in your life that's going to hold you accountable, not enable you, people in your life that you do not have to babysit, understand that people in your life that are like-minded, people that want more out of life just like you, that are working and intentionally rebuilding their life and pushing themselves in life because a person that don't have anything will distract you and cause you to lose everything that you have as well. I just ran through the notes for you real quick and now that we've done those illustration where we did the car and we did the uh, sports now i gotta slide down here to exodus which gonna be 17 and 11 and i want to talk about moses and i want to yeah because we, we gotta talk about this real quick i want you to understand you gotta have people you can't be the head 
and the foot at the same time. You can't that you can't be the head and the foot at the same time. You can't be the knee and the elbow. You got to have people around you that's going to watch your back. You got to have people around you that's going to be ready to step up to the plate about you. You got to have people that's around you that even in rooms that you're not in, they willing to defend your name. They willing to speak up for you. They willing to let folk know, oh yeah, baby, not today. We not about to do that right there. I will, yeah, you, you won't even talk about somebody, but you ain't going to talk about that one. You have to make sure that you have the right type of folk in your life that, yeah, 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 I, I, I need them type of folk in my life. Understand, in the book of Exodus, right? Over here in Exodus, they going to a war. They about to have a whole full out battle out here, right? And this is what they were out here by, um, battling these people. And one thing that got picked up out of this, what I was looking at, right? One thing that I noticed that they said in this book, right? When y'all go read the story, y'all know I just give you the illustration. So when y'all go read it, they were saying they was going to the battle. But in the battle, you had some people that I want you to look out for. That's going to be Aaron, Harold, and Joshua, right? Joshua is the commander. He's leading the army. He's the person that's in the forefront. He's the person that's telling everybody where they're going to be going as they go out here for this whole entire battle, right? So he out here, he in the front line paying attention to the fight. He paying attention to the battle. He paying attention to what's going on right here. So if you're the leader, if you're the person that's in the front and you over here paying attention to what's going on, the, and the paying attention to what's going on while you're out there, right? Then somebody had to be paying attention enough to see where, right? At this point, now the one thing that they pick up now, Moses ain't in the fight, but Moses is, you know, he ain't the leader, right? He's not the person that's the leader inside of this here story. Now Moses, he, he out there, you know, with them, but he's not the person that is the leader. Joshua is the leader. Understand that, right? So right here in this moment, one thing that they pick up, right, is this. They pick Pick up that every time Moses raises his hands up, right, they start winning. But every time his hands fall down, then they start losing. So every time Moses' hands go up, they'll get the advantage. Every time Moses' hands go up, they start taking over. Every time Moses' hands go up, then they start showing out. They on the winning team as long as Moses' hands are up in the air. But as soon as Moses' hands drop, then all of a sudden the other team, they start winning every single time. Somebody on the team had to notice that that right there was happening. And if you are Joshua and you're out there and you're in the middle of a battle, you're not going to be able to see that. If you're Joshua and you're right there on the front line, you're not going to be able to see that. So you're going to have to rely on somebody that's on your team to know what's going on, to step up to the plate, to say, you know what? We got to jump in here, here, and here so that we can bring it up. Every team that you have, you're going to have to have a co-captain and a captain. You're going to have to have some strong players on your team in order for you to get certain things done in your life. It's going to, you're going to, everybody needs somebody, but it's not just somebody. You got to have the right type of people. So now they didn't pick this. Wait a minute. This ain't, ain't wait a minute. Why his hands go up? We win. His hands go down. Then all of a sudden that we lose. Well, one thing that I looked at, I said, let me find out what's going on with the hand. I had to go find this out, y'all, because I needed to know what, 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 why, why that was happening the way that it was happening, right? I needed to understand myself. Why, why was that happening, right? So I go in, I start looking it up. It said, every time when your hands go up, it's a form of worship. It's a form of praise. It's a form of prayer, right? You know what hit me then? I said, oh, right? I know it's, I know it's some people on here that's of age like me. And I know y'all like, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I found out when I went to study it, I went to go see it because I wanted to share that with y'all. I wanted to share how important it was for you to have the right people in the position to make sure that you had people that were in your life that was able to make calls when you busy, that was able to make calls when you were over here and you had to do this and this, that they would have your back on the back end, right? So I'm Googling this and I'm trying to figure out what happened. And it said, that's a form of of praise. It's a form of worship. It's a form of prayer. Then the first thing that hit me was back in the day when I used to be with my grandmama them, they said, if I can't say a word, let me just wave my 
hands. Automatically, I understood exactly why. See, I'm telling you, old people, they know. They be knowing. We be thinking that they don't know. It, yeah, sometimes for those of you that just needed to know that part, wait a minute, I'm waiting on you to get back. I know somebody just ran up your hall. Right, when you get back from down your hall, I got something else. Some of y'all threw your phone. Go get your phone. I got something else to say about that. Yeah, I got some more. I know some of y'all just, yeah, I know you just lost it on that part, but the thing about it is sometimes you're going to get to a place in your life where you don't have the right words of prayer, where you don't understand what you're going through. You don't understand that situation. You can't make it make sense for nothing in the world. Stop looking for the words of prayer. Stop looking for the right scripture. Stop looking for the right words to formulate or articulate a sentence and just simply, mm. In my comment section, just put the wavy hands. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. The, the thing was, it wasn't that Mo Moses wasn't saying anything. Understand that. He wasn't saying anything. He wasn't shouting anything. He was simply up and then it was down. He was up and then it was down. You have got to have a strong prayer life, a strong worship life, a strong praise life. You got to understand how important it is to have the right folk around you that, yeah, can you pray with me? I found out that you needed people connected to you. You, that wasn't going to be ashamed or embarrassed to pray for you. That you wasn't going to be ashamed or embarrassed to worship right there with you. And sometimes when you're trying to be a person that is praying and is worshiping and you're connected to the party girl, it just won't work. We're unequally yoked. You want a party and I need some prayer. Okay, I got to get back. I got to get I got to get back. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. Well, I had to find out. I, okay, I'm back. I'm back over here. But the thing is, I had to find out what it meant. So then I found out that that right there, that's what it meant, right? So at this moment, right? At this moment, I'm like, oh, man, this right here, that's the part right there. So he was... Yeah, when I got my arms up, that's my prayer. That's my worship. That's me. I'm calling I'm calling you down. This is what I need for you to do. This is how I need for you to move. I need you know what I'm saying. And they said his arms kept getting tired. Because sometimes you're going to have some things in your life. And when I say that we ain't got time to be out here playing around with folk that ain't serious about their growth and their development, this is what I'm talking about right now. Understand that you got sometimes some folks in your life, baby, we get tired of being a person that always got to show up. We get tired of being a person that always got to make it happen. We get tired of being a person that got to do everything everything and at one point or another you gotta know it's just, it got to be somebody that's gonna take care of that person it got to be somebody that's gonna pour in to that person it got to be somebody that's gonna step up and say I'll do this for you I'll do that part for you don't you worry about it you get you a nap you get you a rest don't you worry about it I'll handle this right here you gotta have some folks in your life that's not afraid to handle some things on your behalf right but a half of the time we don't be able to do that because we we don't trust the folk that we got around us because we know they inconsistent. We know that they are liar. We know that they are cheat. We know that they are manipulator. We know that they are narcissistic. We know that they are toxic. And guess what we do? We still hold on to them because we so loyal to them. We still hold on to them because we feel like it's our responsibility to take care of them. At the end of the day, you better detach from those folks and get the right folk in your life so you can take a break when you need a break. So what happened, man? What happened, coach? He took his hands up, they would start winning. When he dropped his hands, he'll lose. It took somebody to be on the team to pick up that that right there was happening. It took somebody on the team to be able to see the whole picture of what was happening in their life so they would be able to make some type of change, right? So that they'll be able to make something happen in that situation. Let me tell you what that happened then. So here come Aaron and here come Hard. His name is H-U-R, right? So here they come. What they do? They come over there and because they see whenever Moses would get tired, how his arms would drop, they took stone and put it up under his arms understand that they put stones up under his arms and the stones held his hands up understand that do you have some that's, that's what we leaving you with today do you have some people in your life do you have some people in your friend group do you have some people in your associate group that's not going to be afraid to come over there and do what put some stones up under your arms do you have some folk in your life that are not going to be in such conversations
competition with you that they're not going to mind coming over there, putting some stones up under your arm. Do you have some folks in your life understand that don't want to be you so they don't mind coming over there and putting some stones up under your arm? Do you have some folks in your life that you, that you ain't got to go over there and babysit that are already self-motivated, that already know what it's going to take and don't mind coming to put some stones up under your arm? And if you don't have those folks in your life that don't mind putting stones up under your arm, then it's time for you to evaluate your circle. It's time for you to do what my grandma Mag would say and turn them loose. Turn them loose. That's a fact. Yeah, that 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 just that's just that's just that on that. That's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to you, you. Yeah, if you, if, baby. Yeah, you, I just need to know. I because I, I want you to. I want you to understand something. If they want to be you, they're not gonna put no stone up under your arm. Understand that because I'm trying to do whatever I can do to distract you. I'm trying to do everything that I can do to make you miserable. I ain't putting no storm stones up under your arm, keeping your arm up, and then that way, if we win, they gonna give you a, a, a recognition. If it, it, you think I'm gonna put storm up on stones up under your arm, and then when we win, they gonna be clapping for you. They gonna be calling out your name. People can't celebrate you when they trying to be you understand that you think somebody that's in comp secret competition with you gonna come over there and put stones up under your arm oh no baby they ain't gonna put no stones up under your arm they gonna try to kick your feet right up from up under you while they see that you over there and you're tired and you're wore out they gonna do everything that they can possibly do to take you right on down right there then you got to understand if those folks over there and they cool with the bare minimum they cool with the basic in life you think that they about to come over there and put some stones up under your arm no they're not about to put them stones up under your arm because the first thing that they going to say to you is it don't take all of that i told you to leave them people alone i told you that we was already good we could just sit right here we've been making it late we've been making it do what it needed to do all these years why you want to be the game changer why you want to be the generation of curse breaker why you want to go and do this and that now they're gonna have every excuse up under the sun because they're comfortable with the basic they're cool with the bare minimum they don't want more out of life you gotta have folk in your life that don't mind putting stones up under your arm Understand that you think somebody gonna come and put a stone up under your arm? You think they're gonna do that when you gotta babysit them? No, they they, they ain't going they don't even have enough sense to pick up the stone. They're relying on you and your knowledge, they're relying on you and your passion, they're relying on you and what you're gonna do. They're riding on your prayers, they're riding on your fasting, they're riding on you to come through for them. You babysitting them, they don't have enough sense to go and pick up a stone. It's being real about it. Let's be real. Let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. You got to be surrounded by the right folk. Because when it's time to go in, we all got to be prepared to go in. Because if not, what's going to happen is some folk going to miss their moment. Some folk are really going to miss their moment. And that's a fact. That's a fact. Happy Friday. To a lot of y'all, man, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all so much for listening. That is it. We all, we all going in, baby. That's the, that's where we at it. That's where we at. We all going in. We all going in. If one go in, we all going in. Understand that the only way that you're going to win and go extreme in 2024, the only way that you're going to be able to make things happen. Good morning, PM. How are you, love? The only way that you're going to be able to get things done the way that you want to get them done, you got to make sure that you're surrounded by the right type of people. You got to Make sure that, that you're surrounded by, you know what I mean, a group of people that actually love you, that support you, that are willing to put those stones up under your arm. And if they are in competition with you, if they are secretly wanting to be you, if they are over there, you know what I'm saying? If they are negative Nancy or Debbie Dowdle or a pity party Patty or just a simple hater, one thing's for sure, two things for certain is they are not about to prop you up. They are not about to put nothing up under your arm. They are not about to do anything anything to assist or aid you in any type of way, shape, or form. Having the right people in the right position, it matters. Having a support system versus having company, oh baby, that matters. You need more than a warm body. You need more than a, somebody in your life that's taking up space, that's taking up a seat in your life. You don't need nobody in your life that ain't ready to work. You don't need nobody in your life that's not contributing anything. You don't need nobody in your life that cannot reciprocate what it is that you put out there if you can't pick up what it is that i put down then you ain't got no business over here understand that i'm not in yeah you, you can't 
You can't. You can't. And I'm, I'm, that's, that's where I'm, that's where, that's just where we at with it. That's where we at with it. If you trying to go big, if you trying, we, we went big last year. We trying to go extreme this year. Understand that. Yeah. You're going to miss your moment. Cause if I'm at that light and I'm all eyes on my eyes are focused front and I'm at that light and you behind me. And if you're not all the way up on the, my tail, on my, uh, on, on, up at my tail light, when I turn that light, I'm leaving you. Understand that when I turn that light, I'm not pulling over in the median to, to wait on you to catch up with me. I'm not pulling over on the side of the road to wait on you to pick, pull up to me. If I'm at that light and you already know how that light is, especially if it's a long light and it takes forever. When I take my foot off that brake and I put that on the bumper, baby, you better stay on my bumper. I'm trying to tell you, I tell my people all the time, stay connected to your source. Stay connected to what fuels you, what, you know what I'm saying, what motivates you, what what inspires you, what keeps you pumping, what keeps you in alignment, constantly making those deposits in your life. Stay connected to your source. That is important. Even when everything going right in your life, even when everything is going exactly how you want it to go in your life, even when everything is just evenly flowing, still have that same grip, that same grind, that same passion, no matter what. Why? Because it's always the calm before the storm. Everything is great in the very beginning. Everybody is all loved in the very beginning but when that rocky road come then what happened when you start hitting them bumps in the road then what happened that's right if you didn't already disconnected and i didn't made that light then guess what i'm gone i'm gone now you gotta play catch up it's important you better what on the bumper on the bumper, cause I'm telling you, I'm not, pu I'm not, I'm not pulling over in the median. I'm not pulling over on the side of the road to wait on nobody to catch up. I'm not pulling over on at, at the next stoplight and sitting outside of, uh, outside the gas station parking lot to wait on somebody to come. Where well, they was, they was like two lights behind. Oh, baby, the devil is a lie. You didn't miss your moment at that moment. You didn't miss your moment. You have got to make sure that you're focused. You got to make sure that you're locked in. You got to make sure that your eye, it, my my eye is right here i'm ready to go when you go I, i'm ready to go when you go and don't you step on that break because i'm too close to you if you step on that break i might bump you a little bit hello i'm that, that's that's how close it and when one go in you all got to be prepared to go in get around people the right people and the right position in life so that you can get the job done effectively when you got everybody doing their part when, when you got everybody doing their part, operating at what they do best, man, I'm telling you, I'm talking about smooth selling. I'm talking about smooth. I'm talking about smooth selling. When you got people in your life and those people genuinely want to see you win, those people are showing up for you on a regular basis, and the only thing that they want from you is the best you. It's a whole nother ball game. It, 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 and it's a it's a whole nother ball game. Get you a solid team. That's absolutely right, PM. You have to have you have to have a solid team. You know, and like I said, I'm not saying that they were wrong by saying that everybody needs somebody. I just feel like it wasn't complete. I think everybody needs the right type of somebodies. You need the right people and you need the right people to be in the right position in your life uh, as we go into 2024. We well, need to totally dismantle the thought process of, oh, no new friends, no new friends. I don't want nobody new in my life. No, you need to get rid of some of those old friends to make, make room for some of these new friends, these people that are like-minded, these people that want to grow, that want to heal, that want to pour into you. You know what I'm saying? The problem right now is those old friends that you've been holding on to that don't mean you no good. Those old friends that you've been holding on to, that you've been more of a friend to them than they've been to you, have been blocking out the friends that you really need. Them old friends that's been in your life that feel like just because they've been there since y'all both had pacifiers, so they try to run out every new person that you meet. They have an issue with every new person that you meet. They have something negative to say about every new person that you meet because they know for a fact that if you get around some like-minded people, some people that's thinking like you, if you get around some folk that want to heal 
Leo like you, if you get around some folk that are better, you know what I'm saying, want better for their life like you do, they already know that that's going to change the dynamic of y'all relationship. They're going to change the relationship that you have with them. They don't want that because if y'all, what they say, if one or two ground get together, touching and agreeing, baby, you get two of y'all over there with the same type of mindset, touching and agreeing, praying together, fasting together, you know what I'm saying, reading different books and, and, and exchanging different information together, taking positive trips and seminars and webinars and whatnot together, then they already know, man, you ain't going to want to do what you used to do. You ain't going to talk like how you used to talk. You're not going to behave like how you used to behave. And some folk just don't want you to change. That, that, now that right there, that's it right there. Some, some, so yeah, some, <laughs> thank you. For, <laughs> thank you, friend. That's a fact. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be some, some folk just don't want you to change. Some, it's going to be some folks, yeah, some folks in your, and, and the sad part about it is this, right? The sad part about this is you won't believe how many people that you genuinely love, that you consider to be a really good friend, a best friend, even a really good uh, best cousin, a, a best sister or brother, a family member, period, that you would think that they want the best for you. And it's not that they want bad to happen to you. It's just that they don't want you to live outside the standards that they've already set for your life. It's just that they don't want you to have more than what they already have. Understand that. I want to see you do well, but not that well. I want to see you have, but not have like that. I want to see you happy, but get yeah, day. You happy, happy. And that bothers them secretly. And that's the reason why I said you can't be connected to people that are in competition with you. You can't be connected to people that want to be you. You know what I'm saying? You can't be connected to people that you have to babysit. You can't be connected to people that are unequally yoked mentally, physically, or spiritually, because all of that is going to do nothing but distract you. All that's going to do is hold you back in your life and what it is that you want to do. And sometimes we get caught up, right? We get so caught up because of the way that we love. We get so caught up because of our loyalty. We get so caught up because of our own emotions that we feel like it's wrong for us to walk out or it's wrong for us to leave them. It's wrong for us to detach ourselves. So we become unhappy and unfulfilled and unsatisfied in our life just so that they're happy and baby I want you to understand that that's not right that's not right it's some folk that you love more than anything but them folk they yeah no they don't want that for you they don't want that for you because they know that that's going to change the way you handle them like, yeah, if you can do that and not change how you deal with me, I'll be all right. But I know that you're not going to do that and then still be the same to me. That's why they don't want you to get them new friends. That's the, that's why they don't want you in that new environment. That's why they, yeah, they don't want to see that. Like, nah, man, if I do that, then the way that I call you and you come running, the way that I tell you that my kids need this and you, they call you their auntie and all of this and you come and do this and you come and do that and you don't have them ask no questions and all of that. And then I don't have to show up for you. I don't have to be a uh, reciprocate with you. You. I don't have to be consistent in your life. You just do it because that's the person that you are. You mess around and get around these type of people and you get around them. And then now all of a sudden they say, well, why don't they show up for you? Why don't they do the same thing for your children? Why don't they do this and do that? Oh, they don't want that in your ear. They don't want, they don't, they don't want that in your ear. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't want that in your ear. You got to be careful about that. Let me see, guys, before I get up off here, because I didn't do questions and answers uh, uh, yesterday, I am going to do a couple questions today. I'm going to do a couple questions today. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to go uh, live with me, because I didn't do it yesterday. I normally try to do it on Thursdays. If I um, do a live video, I like to do it on Thursdays. So for you guys down here, I need y'all to double tap on that screen for me. I need y'all to double tap, double tap. Y'all at 442.7. The goal is 600K. So we got to get up there. We need another 160. 60k on tiktok i need y'all to double tap up there up top on ig you guys need four badges before y'all reach our goal of 50 so let me get four badges set up top on ig real quick and anybody that have a question have a comment have something that they want to share hit that request button down on uh, tiktok hit the button hit the little thing down there where you see the two people that say you want to come live with me and we're going to bring um uh, on uh, IG, let's see if we got some people up here that want to come on. Don't see. We going to see. How you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. You had something that you wanted to ask or share? 
Yes, um, you spoke a lot about having a solid team and that is something that I feel I struggle with. Um, like I have, like I have, you know, people I consider sisters that love me, but I just, I feel like my soul is craving like people that are driven and, you know, really serious about their path with God and um, accomplishing uh, God's work, you know, because when I look at life, I think that everything I do has to have purpose to it, has to have uh, a meaning behind it. And I know that this is above me, you know, whatever I'm doing is not just me. This is what God wants me to do. So I'm being, this year, I'm being very intentional with that, but I feel like I'm kind of alone a lot mm -hmm. when um, facing these things. Um, like I don't have solid people around me that I could really call and be like, okay, I'm struggling right now, you know, or, you know, um, maybe I need a prayer or something like, so how do, um, I guess my question is, if you have solid people in your life, how did you align with those people as far as like your walk with God and becoming better um, as a woman? You know what? I'm going to say this, Ren. Uh, when it came down to uh, me and the people that I'm actually surrounded by and, you know, um, the people that I deal with on a regular basis right now, um, what I done was I just I went through that isolation stage. Right. I went through that stage where it was just me. Like I was actually the only person that was, you know, reading the Bible. I was the only person that was, you know, what I'm saying uh, going to conferences and, and listening to ministry and listening to motivational speaking. It was just me. And at that time we had a group about six. And um, I honestly was it was just me. I, I, and I, I became extremely OK with being by myself. And what happened was even when I was inside of that group, that feeling that you feel when you say you know i'm craving a certain type of people and you know the things that i was doing and the people that i was around you know what i'm saying it's just not the same i went through that same stage right and it was like you know we would get together all the time but then when i got there i started to feel like i, I wish i would have stayed home you know what i'm saying and it was like i really i'm really not in the mood and i started to feel that and what happened was i started to honor that feeling when i felt like i didn't want to go or i didn't want to participate i just said it out oh i don't want to do this i don't want to do that and eventually what happened was you know i would be online on you know TikTok or on instagram or on facebook and i would be doing my live videos and i actually built a strong support system from people that i don't even know and i've never even met one time in person and what happened was i was just noticing that god was sending me all the same people that were in alignment with what the life was that i wanted right we had great intellectual conversation we started reading some of the same books then that's how i formulated and got the patreon and then we started you know what i'm saying taking the different classes so my group actually came it was all divine alignment but yeah. you have to be willing to stand out is the thing right and i think that 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 should answer the question more than anything while you're in that stage where you feel like you're um you're isolated and you know what i'm saying and the people that you're around are not really the people that you know what i mean you're you're on that same level with start spending some time by yourself like really really by yourself um and yeah. start like you know do it, reaching out and doing the different seminars and webinars and conferences you know what i mean and sometimes you might have to travel sometimes you may have to get into you know like a zoom class and stuff like that and then you would definitely start to get around some people that are more like-minded like you yes i feel that strongly because I, I feel like god has me in an isolation stage i literally have not been around no one like and I, I know that he's isolated me because I had a lot of turbulence before the year started with um, mm -hmm. losing relationships and people. And um, I've, I've been here before. So now I'm just trying to figure out, OK, what do you want me to do in this isolation stage? Like, how how am I going to align with the people? Because the, the, the passions that I have and everything, I know it requires me to have a strong team and i don't have that right now so i'm just kind of like i feel alone but i know god is with me but i just don't really know how to you know align with the right people i guess um then don't so. don't focus don't focus on aligning with the right people don't focus on it remember what i said i said that it happens naturally 
it's not going to be it's not going to be something that because if you start focusing on aligning yourself with the right people it's almost like you're saying that I'm, I'm looking for my i'm looking for my right people you're not looking for anything we relax and attract everything and everybody that is supposed to be a part of our tribe that are supposed to be a part of our plan they're going to come on their own all you have to do is relax you know what i mean continue to, to do what you're doing and be who you are and like you said you just went through a whole lot of turbulence in your own life which means that right now god is saying like let me let me work on you first let me handle you know and heal you and, and let us go through this process of growth and development that you need from everything that you just experienced that way when i do bring your new people around you know what i mean we're not going to make the same type of mistakes and we're not going to attract the same type of people right yeah and yeah. And one of the other things I'll say is, you know, like I said, and when I'm, um, cause it was somebody on here real quick, uh, guys, when we're talking about seminars and webinars, we're talking about the different groups that you will see. Um, like I have a mental health support group and we meet every Thursday. It's inside my Patreon. We do, um, I have the get in a room tour, uh, which is happening right now. Um, that I'm going to um, many different cities, different states and whatnot. These are environments with people that are growing, that are healing, that are working on their mental health, that are serious about their mental health. Um, you know, and it's not just me. There's several other content creators, motivational speakers and ministers that also have different um, things that are going on that you guys could actively jump into and become a part of. Right. You know what I mean? It's not just me. It's, it's a lot of people that's out here. I like you guys to explore your options and do what Whatever you feel like is best for you right because I know that I'm not for everybody and everybody's not for me you know what I mean and that's cool but you know if you want to be a part of mine then the door is definitely open you know what I mean and inside of our chosen family like I ain't gonna lie we love it there we get there we actually we have a class from 6 30 to 8 so you know it's love it ain't an hour class it's always some change so we hang mm -hmm. out and we, and we talk and we interact and we share stories we cry together we laugh together we celebrate together you know what I mean and and that's the type of environments healthy safe environments that you know i definitely promote on a regular basis see i love that and i always catch your lives because i'm like i share them on my ig i'm like a lot of when you say that people be uh tripping off how you talk i think it's just real like you just speak from a place of realness and you know it's your testimony and i love that you share that with um everyone and i also created like a healing journal it's on amazon but so i'm just like you know on this path of just rediscovering who god sees me as because i feel like i've lived so long of worldly things and what i've been expected to do from the world but not who i was born before he knew me so i really love that and i thank you so much and such an inspiration so i appreciate that thank you and i i i appreciate that yeah i think it, it ain't nothing wrong with my voice they just too soft friend they too soft <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> i do have you have a wonderful day okay you too thank you you're welcome hey there honey how are you I'm great um how are you today <laughs> can you hear me <laughs> yes we can hear you <laughs> okay um I pretty much want to, it's pretty much the same thing that I'm probably going, going through the same thing as far as with the lady that was previously on. Um, it's just more so, um, I'm a beginner. So it's like, I'm new to when the, new to all of this, new to, as far as meeting new people, new to, as far as, um, I say more so talking to people, a lot of people, it's, it's like, a, I'm, I have my energy. It seems like it throws a lot of people off, but I also have good spirits like around the good people those good people is the ones that i really attract around those who's not really supposed to be around me i don't really so much attract them which i'm okay with that but it's like a lot of people judge me before they get a chance to eat really knowing me and you know knowing who i am as a person and it's like i don't know if i come off as aggressive or mean or so whatsoever but i'm a very sweet person and i just really want to get to know more people you know make more friends you know what i'm saying and um be around like-minded people as far as what you saying being yeah. around more like-minded people you know getting more into church doing more of as far as seminars you know things like that i'm a mother of three you know with one on the way so i'm trying to you know help my mental as far as being a better person 
Yeah, and and I love that. First of all, let's 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 just say this. I love that for you. All right, you know what I mean. I, I really and truly do. I think that it's a beautiful thing, you know, especially with women, you know, us out now, you know, being mothers and taking our mental health extremely serious and getting to that point where we're actually putting ourselves in those environments where the seminars, the webinars, and the conferences and the support groups, because I think that us becoming more aware of the person that we are and what it is that we bring, because you know. Just from just doing life coaching all by itself you know a lot of times i can tell that us as mothers we are the first bullies that our kids have to deal with you know what i mean our yelling our fussing our screaming our constantly telling them to do this this and this and if we learn you know what i'm saying us learning you know how to communicate effectively and us learning how to show up in their lives and how to honor ourselves and how to remove them out of situations where there is disrespect or is you know saying things going on that shouldn't be going on i think that is is it's, it's just a beautiful thing so i applaud you um 110 percent because one of the things i keep saying right now is that i love the fact that i love the fact that you know we're taking the opportunity to heal ourselves you know now so our kids don't have to heal from having us as parents yeah. heal, you know what i mean being able to, to to have those conversations to have that love and that support and let them know hey look this is the right way to do it this is the healthy way to do it this is the best way to do it you know so congratulations on the baby that you have on the way and the same advice i gave for her is the same thing for you get into the groups get into the seminars you're gonna i promise you it's gonna be like something that you've never experienced before when you walk into an environment and it's a bunch of people people that are just like you that say, hey, I'm just here to heal. Mm -hmm. I ain't even hide, I, you know, and they bold with it. I ain't hiding and I, I'm here to heal. I can't, I can't hide it and heal it. Yeah. I, need, I need to put it out there. So yes, you know what I mean? So I wish you all the best, okay? All right, thank you so much. You're welcome, love. All right, y'all, we got somebody um on IG. Thank you. Hey, how are you? How are you? Um, so first of all, I just want you to know that I love your content. Thank you. You speak to my so, and one of the, one of the, um, one of your uh, lives talking about change and accountability and how we have to do the work within ourselves and I, and we have to speak life into ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so in this year, um, I knew that I had to do something different and, um, I did it. I changed my circumstances. I got tired of complaining and I did something different. And um, the part that really hurts the most is that the people that I thought that would support me, they don't. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really hard because it's like you feel so alone. And it's your family. And yeah. it's like people that you would do like everything for. And they just like, it's like they don't want to see you win. And so how do you navigate through the isolation season? where you know you have to do it by yourself and know that the people are coming. But, you know, like sometimes, like, all, every good gesture don't have good intentions behind it. That's Somebody a fact. Might do something, something for you. But it's just to hold you on. So just in case they need you, they can tap back into you again. It's not like a genuine thing. And so for me, I get so caught up on the good gestures. And then behind the good gesture is the tear down. It's the mm -hmm. accusation, it's the lying to you. So how do you just, you know, deal with that? You know, um, for me, uh, in, in your, you know, when you are working on your life, right, when you're working on your life and you are in that stage where you're isolating, um, I'm going to say the same thing to you as well, right? When you're in that stage, focus on that stage, right? Don't be in stage one and you're already concerned about stage two, right? Because the Bible says be anxious for nothing. Right. So just relax and attract everything that's going to be for you is going to come to you in your due season. So the only thing that you have to do while you're there is focus on your development, focus on you. You know what I'm saying? What is it that I'm supposed to learn here? Learning yourself, knowing what it is that you want out of life, you don't want out of life, learning what, you know what I'm saying? The things that you enjoy, what makes you feel fulfilled, what brings, what makes you feel like, you know, I got this in a bag. I can take this to the next level. And what's going to happen? 
happened is, you know, when you're saying that it was people that I thought that were going to go all the way with me, it was people that I thought were going to be able to finish this thing with me. That also goes back into what we were talking about on this live today, right? I just said that it's going to be some people in your life that you love more than anything. Some people that you look at like you're the best thing that ever happened to me. But when you start to heal in life, your taste for people and places and things start to change. Things that you used to be attracted to, you're not attracted to anymore. Things that you used to do, it's not fun for you to do anymore because you don't have that same type of mentality. You're not thinking the way that you used to think. You're not, and then the more that you heal, friend, I'm gonna be honest, how you know the difference in between somebody just giving you something or not giving you something with the intentions and whatnot. I wanna say this to you, as you continue to heal and grow and become happy in your own life, you're not gonna be easily impressed. And that's a fact. Like you're going to get, it's not an ungrateful thing, but you're not easily impressed. Like, you know what I mean? There, yeah, I'm not easily impressed. There's not something that you can really just give me that, you know what I mean? I, I love people being consistent, showing loyalty, showing real support. And sometimes that doesn't come in a gift type of form. It may just be something that you said to me that changed my whole mood. Something that you said to me and that that just gave me a whole nother perspective that lit my world up completely different. As you start to grow and heal in life, you, everything that all of everything just kind of switches out right? And it does it naturally. So one thing I don't want you to do is become anxious. I don't want you to feel like you have to find different people in places. You know what I mean? What, who is for you? What is for you? God is going to naturally send it in your direction. And you're going to know that it's real by the way it makes you feel. When something is genuinely for you, it has a feeling that you've never, ever, ever felt before. Understand that it, it's going to be, it's going to be like, yeah, this is it. So much. I you, you are so welcome, love. Uh, guys, in on IG, on IG, we're gonna take another person. If I have anybody else on IG that want to join in, if you want to join in on the live on IG, go ahead and uh, send me a request. Down on TikTok, it is the same thing for you guys down here on TikTok. If you guys got something that y'all want to say, you want to join the live. If you send me a request, I'm gonna go ahead and add. I'm gonna add you up. We got somebody on IG. We got IG. IG. I sent out a request. I got somebody loading down here on TikTok. TikTok don't waste no time getting home. <laughs> we gonna give them an opportunity. There we go. Oh, I got it now. How you doing? Hey, Street. Hey, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you today? Man, I'm doing wonderful. TikTok, double tap on that screen. I just wanted to say, um, I've been following you probably for like a year now. Mm. I also feel like you have the most best content ever. You always you. touch my heart street. Like you really be talking to me. Like I just, um, I just struggled with homelessness for like 22 months and Tuesday I got me a key. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. Um, I feel like without you, well, not with just without you, but your motivation helped a whole lot. I um, had already started like trying to build boundaries, make boundaries, um, but you taught me the most part is standing on them boundaries. Yes. I was trying to get to you in Philly on the 27th of the 26th, but um, things happened differently, and especially with me getting a place like I had to, I'm, I, you sold out in the first day, so that was just crazy. <laughs> so now, like, I got the keys, and I'm like, that was God just saying, you know, you got to see her next time. Like, you, I had to put my money in here, and... 
I'm just glad you accepted me um, to talk to me too. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. And I tell you what, I appreciate all the love that, um, I appreciate all that love. And I want to say, cause we can't just speed by the fact now you didn't, you didn't went and endured being homeless for that amount of months. And even during homelessness, we're not going to slide by the fact that you still stay connected, that you, you like, I've been following you for a year. So just as long as you've been homeless, you've been still plugged in and you still been following and supporting and now you are here and here you is Thank over you here <laughs> man listen and you sitting over here then got your keys congratulations on your new place man i'm definitely you know what i'm saying like yo that's amazing god is amazing and and please continue to support continue to stay connected and you know what i mean um dm me dm me that i need to send you a housewarming gift i just want to send you something for your housewarming Oh, I appreciate that. Um, yes, DM, yeah, DM I, me. I'm definitely going to stay connected. I, yeah. I go to class in the morning. I work in the evening. Like, I'm not exaggerating. You keep me so motivated. I, um, I, I not promote. I tell a lot of people about you. I just hope, every, like, the people that I know deserve better yeah. and things like that. I hope they really tune in. Um, and I'm definitely trying to get into that Patreon. I just need a few little, a little more time so I get my finances right. But mm -hmm. I, I definitely support you as much as I can. I appreciate every time yeah. you come on here. Like, Thank you. you don't have to. You do. And you don't have to. And you got a great heart. Like, God really speaks for you, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you I so would, much. I, I, I'm in my new place, and I'm all dressed down because I ain't been able to in so long. So that's why I ain't let y'all see my face hey, right now. It's 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 all good, but I need go when you get off the live, go into my DM because um, and I just seen my uh, see my friend on here. We we gonna send you something for your new place. We got she say send her the information too. So what we gonna do is we gonna send you something, and you can use that something to go get whatever it is that you need for your new place, whether that's cleaning supplies, whether that's new blankets, towels, put something in the refrigerator, you know what I mean? Whatever it is that you need to go and do. And that is me saying to you that I truly, truly appreciate your love and your support. And I'm all about reciprocation. And because you've been so loyal to me and supporting me, I want to pour back into you, right? So that's what we're going to do. And um, yeah, man, oh, what we got somebody else up here. We got my other friend, she jumping in and she want to send you something. So DM me and I'm going to make sure that they all get it and and we're gonna we're gonna bless you with something okay we're gonna bless you with something so dm me real quick all right uh we yes, love you we love you we love you and you know and just keep pushing keep being positive keep being great man god is amazing and you know he's he's not done he's not done he's still he's yes, still he's totally, not done i totally agree this is my year i'm ready that's um, right claim that yes thank you so you much welcome. coach you're welcome i love you and i'll talk to you soon okay Love you more. Have a good day. Me too. Man, God is God is always amazing, right? Always amazing, man. I think that is, uh, man, that's the biggest blessing out of all the blessings right there. You know what I mean? People be going through stuff in life, and you never know, like, who's watching you. You never know who's supporting you. never know what another, and we talked about that earlier, right? Like, never knowing what another person is going through in their life. And we talked about that on Walk and Worship this morning. And it's just, you know, being able to smile through the pain, being able to keep your head up through all the hardship and things that are happening in your life, still staying upbeat and motivated. Y'all got to understand that that right there all by itself, still being able to have a smile on your face and have joy and peace in your heart when your heart whole entire life is falling apart and you don't know where you're going to sleep. I want you to know that that that's a skill. That's a talent because I done been in that position. You know what I'm saying? And, and I made that video this morning. I said, I just won't keep me in a position where I never have to beg or borrow or live pillow to post again, because I'm telling you when I say it's embarrassing, when I say that you have to settle for things that you know for a fact that, you know what I mean? That you shouldn't have to settle for, have to put up with people and their attitude, having people cook food in front of you and don't even offer for you or your child a plate like I'm t I'm telling you I've been there before you know what I mean so if I don't have anything else I have gratitude I'm grateful for everything and anything that I could do to ever bless another person or to help another person in any type of way shape or form uh you know that's just gonna be me my heart is what it is I'll never treat people the way that I was treated as I was coming up I'll never be that person to somebody 
Never, never, never. Let me see. I got, uh, I had to take somebody off down here because of the feedback. Let me see if I can get them back on, y'all. We got somebody else. Y'all almost at y'all, boy. Y'all at the 563. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Street, what's going on? What's going on with you? Hey, man, I just told my team they listening to you right now. I said, Street on. I told my whole team. I said, you did? I need to get on. Oh, yeah. I got a whole thing listening to you right now. We all trying to get on the right path, right? Yeah. And uh, I want to tell you, appreciate you. I'm a, I drive 18 wheelers, right? I'm going uh -huh. across Arizona. Look here. Okay. Ooh, man, I bet they true now. Did street? You what got my going? energy up. Yes, sir. I'm talking about I'm powered up. You hear me? I Straight up, and I then you got, and then you answered when I tried to get in with you. I told yeah. him I was gonna get on here with you. You did. It's the energy. I'm it's telling energy. you. Yeah, I just told my team. I said, look, man, she just tried to get me on. But my signal uh -huh. low because I was in I'm in Arizona right now. Uh-huh. She said, try again, B. This way. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. I promise you. I put yeah. my whole team because you put me, you put I was in the dark uh place of my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to shed tears right now, straight up. <laughs> I'm out here with street, dog. For real. <laughs> and and it's like unbelievable. But mm -hmm. The people that the people that's with me, that's listening to you right now. Yeah. I put man, look here. You changing all our lives. And you ain't doing nothing yeah. but telling the truth. That's the Thank beautiful you. part. I don't I don't I, I don't went through all the tears. I'm on the out. Let me pull this truck over because I ain't playing with you. Oh <laughs> no, it's going down. <laughs> yeah, ain't going down. You got the right one on here right now. Thank you, Street. I love it. You're welcome, baby. Thank you so much. I promise you. I was in a dark place. I needed you. you. You know what I'm saying? You came through. You you helped me. I'm helping others in 2024. I'm in my isolation uh, season right now, right? Okay. Because I'm in an 18 wheel. So mm -hmm. last year in um, 23, there was a plan. And then I prep. Now I'm getting ready to perform. Do not play with me, Street. You Yo, hear me? It's going on. He's, he's telling me what my notes was. I gave them oh. these notes. I gave them oh. these notes. Oh, for real, for real. Come oh, on. Oh, my goodness. Hey, look. I done got rid of uh, all the attachments, the leashes. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm on my assignment. I'm on my assignment. I, I need my assignment. You heard me? Man, listen. You walk so, it, we walk I'm it together. I'm so I'm 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 so proud of you, right? Yes, ma'am. I appreciate you. I'm proud of you for multiple reasons right now. Like you 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 got my heart so full right now. Man, like <laughs> you feel hey, 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 street, you feel the energy. I do, I do. Yeah. I feel I feel you on too. We my very heart, powerful. Yeah, I, I, my heart is so full right now, and y'all know, y'all know me, y'all know I'm a boy mom. I'm a boy right. mom, and right. I love, I love my, I love when my young men come through. I love when my young men are locked in and they're focused on their mental health and learning. Yep how to become that gentleman that we need out here like y'all y'all not gonna be ready for my guys when my guys step out in 2024 i'm telling y'all y'all not going to be ready for them they coming out and they are locked in they know mm -hmm. their worth they're not settling mm -hmm. for less they have their boundaries intact right right business like real men i ain't talking mm -hmm. about the men y'all see on social media still arguing about who paying what who doing what i'm talking right. about my group i'm talking about my boys my boys when my boys get out this is a representation of one of my boys i love hey, look. you hey I'm street check you. this out i love you too you just don't know how much i love i believe you feel the energy for real so yesterday i went through some baby mama uh baby daddy situation right so i told my team about it but guess what i almost got mad Guess what I said? I said, ah, ha ha devil, you can't get me. Cause look, <laughs> guess what? I know how to navigate through the chaos. Come on. Because that's a distraction. That's a distraction. 
man, find them somebody to play with. Cause don't I ain't have him. Two. <laughs> don't have two. You just, y'all, y'all, got, y'all can't play with him. Y'all uh-uh, can't play uh-uh. with him. It's I'm a wrap. Sure. It's a wrap, Street. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, y'all. Y'all, that right there. That because see, they don't, they don't understand when I drop that video, bro. They don't understand how powerful right. just that, just taking that note, navigating through pain, navigating through chaos, yeah. navigating yeah. through drama. Nav- right. when you learn how to navigate through that, your response to things are gonna be so different because you're gonna be able to identify the enemy's tactics. You want to make me mad. You want to get up under my skin. You mm. want. Mm-hmm. To give you that negative energy and I'm choosing not to because what? I got a divine right of choice. I'm choosing positivity over drama. I'm choosing right. peace over drama. I'm not going to give you that reaction that you want from me so bad. So what I'm going to say is you have your day your way and I'm going to have my mind. Hey, guess, guess what? They can't stop me. I'm too focused. Hey, you can, you're too, too focused. focused. Yeah, I'm you are. too powerful. You are, you and then are. I'm out here with street. We ain't finna do nothing to go up farther. That's right. We're going extreme all year. 2024, baby. We, we hey. got an overflow coming. Hey, hey, you the only reason I get on social media. I'm, I'm on my social media fast. You the only reason I get on social media right now. I love I love this for you, man. I really I, I, I love you. I appreciate, I appreciate you too, man. You have you have depth. Listen, everybody in this chat right now, down here in this chat, they are talking about how much they love your energy, how much they Real? love your spirit. Yeah, they are. Ooh, they are. You, they got, go so, you got some people in this chat that are super, super proud of you, man. You got them on IG and on uh, TikTok, man. And they, they, love, they love your energy. They are proud of you as well. So just know that you are loved. You are loved. Yes, and we are over here and we are definitely rooting for you. We are cheering you on all the way, man. It's nothing like, it's nothing, nothing, nothing like seeing our young people get back into position. And I need you to be safe out there on that road, okay? Will do. Will do. All right. You Appreciate be good. that, Street. You more than my, welcome. My man. dog. <laughs> yeah, man, listen. Yeah, we got we he gotta be safe. He gotta be safe out there. Gotta take care of himself out there, man. Listen, I, I yeah, li- I'm still smiling. I love I loved his energy, y'all. His energy was through the roof, man. I love it. So y'all guys, every single day that you wake up and you put ten toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because it's no love like self love. And you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else. I will see you guys again on Monday. We're on schedule now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll be starting from 10 10 to 11 11. Walk in worship starts Monday through Friday, and it starts at what time? At 8 a.m. from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. 9 a.m. If you guys are waking up and you need that morning inspiration, if you guys are waking up and you just need somebody to help you get in alignment to do your morning routine, I am jumping in and I'm going to be your cyber account buddy from now until February the 20th to help you get your three wins in a day your mental, your physical, and your spiritual win right there in the morning is with us so yes if you are yep right here on tiktok and ig ig is going to start on monday so monday through friday we will be doing walk in worship every single morning starting at eight from eight till nine and monday wednesday and friday we will be doing our mental health hour right here on tiktok if you guys haven't already got your tickets for detroit let me say this before everybody get off. If you have not got your ticket for Detroit, do not blame me. I'm telling you right now, them people in Detroit, Michigan, them people over in Flint, Michigan, they are not playing. I do not have any more available vendor slots. They are all sold out. I do not have any more open slots for people to open up and speak. Both slots are now gone. Um, one person is going to be singing. Another person is going to be speaking. The general admission tickets are going very fast right now. I dropped the link and before, when I woke up, it was already at like six to seven tickets already sold without any promo at all and it's been selling ever since yesterday so um the space is definitely limited right so i need you guys i don't want nobody to jump on and say well it's eastern standard time babe i don't want nobody to say well i didn't know the link was up the link is up right now event bright go to get in the room tour get in the room tour detroit get in the room um get in the room tour detroit edition detroit flint michigan 
it's up right now y'all go and grab y'all tickets go grab y'all tickets to get in the room okay i want to say that to you guys real quick and philly i will be in your city i'm city i'll be in your philly mother philly i'm philly i'll be in your city i like that i'll be in your city next weekend man next weekend saturday the 27th we will be kicking off the get in the room tour 2024 in philly y'all already know it's completely sold out i'm extremely excited about it um got my girl that's you know what i'm saying cook she's gonna be out there cooking doing what she do she's gonna be handling all the catering for that super excited for that i love when my people jump in and start putting out their skills their talents what it is that they do you know what i'm saying so we'll be able to help them get more bookings and what it is that they do as well yeah because you know i like to promote other people so we own that and then charlotte north carolina february the 24th y'all come out there i got my girl crystal she gonna be out there doing her thing event planning and from what i'm hearing yeah, y'all gonna want to get in with her, and she's from Tennessee, so if y'all haven't booked with her, y'all just wait until y'all see my birthday function and the promotion that go into that, so y'all can see what my girl be bringing to the table with that as well, so yes, we gonna be out there for Charlotte, uh, Charlotte, February the 24th, then January 27th, we in Philly, and Detroit is gonna be April the 27th, so y'all lock in, I love you guys, man, if I blessed your soul this morning, if I lifted your spirits, go ahead and send me some love real quick. Go ahead and send me some love real quick. Yeah, I got two crystals, man. I got a crystal driver and a crystal low. I, I found that out already. I got two of them. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Urban. Thank you, Di uh, Diamond. I appreciate you. Appreciate that gift, man. Okay, let me get the little saying going. Thank you, Kalia. Christina, appreciate those flowers, man. Thank you, guys. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Send me some love, send me some love, send me some love. Thank you, Stacy. Appreciate you. Thank you. Love you too. I love you too, Danielle. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. Okay, Libra, sliding through. Okay, Bo. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all. Man, make sure y'all show up uh Monday, 8 uh 8 a.m. morning walk and worship, right? Make make sure y'all in the building for that. I love y'all. Y'all have a good day. The dates for uh, Detroit is Saturday, April the 27th. Saturday, April the 27th. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to Alabama or not. We're going to work on it. All right. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time, guys. <laughs> 